How are you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're studying Daf Samachtes, Daf 69. Welcome to Bava Basu, friends. Yo, friends, today we're... Uh, it's, <laughs> it's kind of technical, Daf. Uh, all right, but we're continuing talking about selling stuff and what's included in selling stuff. Says the Mishnah on Daf Samachtes Amud Beis, about five, ten lines from the bottom. Hamochres asare, somebody who sells a field. Mochres avonim shem l'tzorka. He sells the stones that are needed for it. The Gemara is going to explain what that means. The Gemara is going to kind of explain all these things. They're going to be kind of technical, but all right. And the reeds in a vineyard that are needed for the vineyard. And uh, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, um, uh, grain that is connected to the uh, ground. And a, uh, I keep on forgetting what, what the translation is, but basically, uh, like a patch, I guess, <coughs> of reeds that is less than a quarter of a cob or something, that would be included in the sale. And a, um, like a guard hut, I think, that is like not, uh, plastered with cement. All right. Vesa charuv she'ena murkov and a carob tree that is not grafted. Ves besulas hashikma and a virgin sycamore tree, uh, which means that it hasn't been pruned. All of these things are included in the sale. Avo lo macher lo esa avonim she'ena nitzorka, but he didn't sell the stones that are not needed for it. Velo es hakonim shebekerim she'ena nitzorko, and not the reeds in the vineyard. That are not needed for the vineyard. Velo esa tvua she tlushim in a karka, and not grain that is uh, disconnected from that has already been harvested from the ground. Okay. Bismacha Omar lo he vichoma she besocha. But if he says I'm selling you the, the field and all the things in it, harikulin mechurin. Well, then all these things are included. Benkach uvenkach. But either way. Lo machar lo es chitza sakonim shei beis rova. He doesn't sell this. I think like patch of reeds that is a quarter of a cob. Blo es ha shomer shei asuya betit and not a um like guard hut that is plastered with uh, uh clay because then I guess it's considered like its own thing is in its own right. Blo es achar vamurka blo es stana shikma and not a grafted carob tree or nor a uh, uh sycamore tree that has been pruned. Because those are, I think, considered significant in their own right, as we're gonna see in the Gemara. Says the Gemara, my Avonim Shein the Tzarka. What are these stones that are needed for the field? Hacha uh, Tagimo. Here, I guess in Bavel they explained Avni de Achpa. Stones that are they like put down, I guess, to hold down the grain so that they don't the grain doesn't like go anywhere. Ula Amar Avonim Asdurus Legader. And Ula says it's stones that are organized, like stacked on top of each other to make a fence. Okay. Ve'atani Rebchia Avonim Tzvurus Legader. Rebchia teaches in Abraisa um, stones that are just haphazardly piled together that I guess will be used for a fence. Tni uh, Siduros. So don't say piled haphazardly. Rather say like Ula said, organized you know, uh, on top of each other for a wall. When we say that over here we're talking about these stones that are for like pressing down uh, um, uh, wheat stalks to you know make sure they don't fly off, I guess. So um, we saw the other day that Rameir's opinion is that by a vineyard, even like the Tashmishov, right? Even like kind of things that are like um, uh, not kind of Kavua there uh, would be. Uh, considered part of the sale. So, I mean, he has a kind of like a more lenient take on what would be considered uh, to be c- included in the sale, whereas the Rabbana have like a more st- uh, stringent uh, explanation of what uh, would be included in a sale. So, therefore, according, so when we say that we're talking about a stone that was used to like apply pressure to these wheat stalks, so Rab Meir, who says it's more lenient, meaning even if you just prepared it for that purpose but didn't actually place it in the field for that purpose, that would be enough for it to be included in the sale, whereas the rabbis say you would actually have to um, place it down in the field. So again, um, 
So the Rebbe de Mitakno, and according to Rebbe Meir, they just have to be prepared for that purpose. Avagav de Lomachaton, even though they haven't actually been placed on the field, the Rabbanon who de Mochaton. But according to the rabbis, they have to have actually been placed there. Ula Dharma, Avonim Masturis, the Gotter. And according to Ula, who says, we're talking about stones that have been, uh, you know, piled on top of each other for a wall. The Rebbe de Mitakno, and Avagav de Losidron. According to a mayor, they just need to have been um, uh, prepared for that purpose, even though they haven't actually been organized on, on one on top of the other to make a wall. The Rabbanon, who the Sadron, the Sidron, according to the Rabbanon, though, they actually do have to be uh, piled on, stacked on top of each other. And the reeds in the vineyard that are needed for the vineyard, what do you need reeds in a vineyard for? Says by the Bismedjus of Yanai, um, uh, reeds that have been smoothed, Shemamidin Tachas Agafonim, they put them beneath the, uh, um, vines, and I think the point is that they like hold up the vines, that they don't just like plop onto the floor, they like keep them upright and standing. The mayor, the Meshafion, Afagab, the Lomukmon, the mayor, even once they're like planed and smoothed out, that would be enough for them considered needed for the field and included in the sale, the abundant. With the Mukman according to Rabbi, they, the rabbis, they would actually have to be put in place and, you know, helping keep the vines up. And uh, uh, grain that is connected to the ground. Even though they're ready to be harvested, still they're considered part of the ground. And this, um, uh, like, patch, I think, of reeds that is less than uh, a base rova. Uh, would be included even though they're stark, even though they're strong they're, and they might be considered significant in their own right no, they're they're sold with the um, land and uh, this guard hut that is not made with um, 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 uh, is, is not plastered with clay and even though it's not attached to the ground still it would be included in the sale and Murkov and the carob tree that is not grafted, and the virgin uh, sycamore tree, even though they're stark, still they're included in the sale. But he does not, included in the sale, are not um, stones that are not needed for the tzorka. That's a double negative. If you have stones that are not needed for the field, they're excluded from the sale. I don't know how to say that without... Only included in the sale are things that are needed for the thing. But, okay, if they're not needed for the thing, then they're not included in the sale. The Reb Meir, Dilo Mitaknon. So according to Reb Meir, right, so we explained what those, what, you know, what, um, what, what, what would it mean for it to be needed for the field. So Reb Meir said that they had, that they had to be prepared. And according to Chum, they had to actually be placed in the um, uh, field um, to kind of weigh down these uh, stocks. So now, uh, if, but if they, according to a mayor, if they are not prepared, well, then they won't be included in the sale. According to a if they are not placed in the field, then they won't be included in the sale. So again, the Rav Meir, the Lomi Tatan, they haven't been prepared. The Rav Meir, the Lomi Tatan, they haven't been placed on the field. Ula Ula, and according to Ula, the Omar, Avon Mas Durus Legator, that we're talking about um, stones that have been, you know, uh, stacked on top of each other for a uh, fence. The Rav Meir, the Lomi Shap, what? The Rav Meir, the Lomi Tatan, according to a mayor, they haven't been prepared yet for this purpose. The Rabbanon de los Sidron, and according to the rabbis, um, he didn't actually stack them up yet, so it's not included in the sale. And excluded are the um, uh, reeds of the vineyard that are not needed. The Rabbanon de los Sidron, according to the Rabbanon, the reeds haven't been planed yet. The Rabbanon de los Mukman, according to the rabbis, even if they've been planed, but if they haven't yet been you know, put, to, put there in the field to hold up the vines, then they're excluded. Excluded is also um, a, a, a grain that has been detached already from the ground. I forgot the tzrichlar, even though it still needs the ground because it needs to like dry out on the ground. But you no, know, once they've been uh, detached from the ground, they're excluded from the sale. And not these uh, patch of reeds that is a base kova. Uh, even though they are um, small, and you might think that they're not considered it's their own thing in their own right. No, they are. Still excluded from the sale. And now it's, this isn't limited to um, to like these reeds. Even if you have a small patch of uh, 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 a small row of uh, of uh, fragrances, 
Vyeshla Shem Bifne Atma Ainanim Karis Ima and has like its own name, its own, you know, like uh let, let's go by to Amar Papa Vu the Karu La Vardu the Plani. For example, if you have, you know, a rose patch and say, Oh, those are uh Yankel's roses. So it means that they that they are um, significant in their own right and they would not be included in the sale. And not this um, guard shack that is plastered with clay. Even though it's connected to the ground, um, um, still it would be excluded from the sale because I think the point is that it would be considered significant in its own right. By Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Lazar asked, "Ma'ab no shapsochim ma'u." What if you have like a doorstop? Apparently, it's talking about like when you close the door, the the thing that the door hits against. So is that so when you sell a house, is that included in the sale? So if it's like connected to the door, if it's connected to the house, like with with clay, well then obviously it's sold with the house. To mechaber, it's connected. Kiti boilach. The kasha is the nekite besiche. If it's only connected with pegs, my what's the halach? Is it sold with the house or not? Teku ichveisnish. Asks, what about like the um, frames of windows? Are they sold together with the house? Do we say that nah, it's just uh, to make things look nice and they're not included, you know, part, it's not part of the structure of the, uh, of the house? Or perhaps, or maybe, no, if they're connected to the house, they're connected to the house and they're sold with the house. Take with the house. If you're selling a bed and uh, underneath the, the, you know, the, the bed post thingies, the thing, the legs of the bed are like these things that you put underneath the legs of the bed. Is that what they're called? They're called bed, bed legs? I guess. Um, it is called the foot of the bed. So I guess the bed legs. Underneath the bed legs, they would put like something to separate between the bed legs and the floor so that they wouldn't like get messed up. So now, call echo de metatle. So, well, if when you move the uh, bed, memela, these things come with it, so certainly it's considered part of the bed. They go with it. What if they are not sort of attached to it and don't move together with it? My, are they included in the cell? Take it. Those charva murkov los dana shikma vagomer bechule and excluded are also the um, a, a grafted carob tree and a um, a pruned sycamore tree. Menani mida. How do we know this? I'm reviewed. I'm rab. Because the Pazik says, um, because the Pazik says that uh, by Maris and when Avram Avinu bought the Maris and from Ephraim, so I'm going to read the Pazik says, Vayokum stay Ephraim, Asheba Machpela, Ashelifne Mamri, Asoda Vamari, Ashebo, Vichola eats Asheba Soda, Asher, Bechol Gvulo, Savav. And all the trees that were in the field, that, 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 and that were in the Gvul, that were in the boundary of the field. So, that means included in the sale is Mishatsarik Likvul Saviv trees that need in that need the boundary in order to define them as being part of this particular field. Yatsu Elu to the extent to the to the exclusion of a grafted uh, carob tree or a pruned sycamore tree that they are significant in their own right. Shain Tsrikh and Likvul Saviv, we don't need the boundary to know that it belongs to so and so. We already know just by the nature of I think that's the point by the nature of these these particular trees that oh yeah those are so and so's trees so they would be excluded from the sale of land Amr of Mishasha of a field Amr of Mishasha Mikan Limitzar Minator and of Mishasha says we, this is the concept of of uh, of of Mitzarim, of of borders that um, that the field and the borders would be included in the um, the sale of the field and whatever trees are in the borders um, we learn this out from here from. Ephron. Um, Ravira says Ravira. Haiman de Mizabin Ar the Chavi. Somebody who sells land to his friend. So he has to write to him in the document. Kne Loch that uh, acquire or I'm selling to you. Diklin Vitailin uh, palm trees and saplings. Vihutsin Vitsitsin as well as Hutsin and Tsitsin. I guess different types of palms or something. Vavagav de Chi Lokos of Leochi Kani. And even though if he, even though if he doesn't write it explicitly. Um, he still acquires the trees together with the field. It's a nicer document to have to be specific. You know, if it's specific, it's givaldig. So if, uh, let's say, Shimon is selling a property to Reuven, and he says, Reuven, I'm selling to you land, vidikle, I'm selling you land, and I'm also selling you palm trees. Well, Chazinon, we see, I isle dikle, yoivle tre dikle. So if he has, in addition to the land, he also has two palm trees. So then, uh, he gives two palm trees to Reuven. Ve ilais le 
And if he doesn't have two palm trees, Zovin le tre dikle. So he needs to buy two palm trees and and give those two palm, you know, and 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 and, and uh, you know, I guess sell them or include them in the sale to Reuven. And if he has palm trees, but they're meshubat to alone, well, parik le tre dikle. Well, uh, you know, if if Shimon had borrowed money from Levi and he's meshuba meshabed these palm trees to Levi, so the value of two palm trees he needs to pay back Levi so that he can free up these palm trees and he needs to get, get you know clue them to the sale to Reuven. Ara bidikle, if Shimon says to Reuven, I'm selling you a land that 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 has palm trees on it, chazinon. We see i isba dikle if there are uh, palm trees on it, so then yoivle or the agos abach changes it to zabine zabine. It's a valid sale. The lav if there aren't palm trees on it, um, so mekach Well, then it's a it's a mistaken transaction because Reuben thought he was buying a field with palm trees, but um, there were none. Ara beidikle. But if all Shimon said to Reuben is a uh, I'm selling you a land that I guess is uh, capable of you know a, I guess a palm tree land. Leisle dikle. Reuben can't make any claims because the chazi on the dikle. What Shimon is saying, I'm, he's saying that I'm selling you a land that 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 is fit for planting palm trees, um, but he's not guaranteeing that there currently are palm trees on it. If Shimon says to Reuven, I'm selling you the the the, the land except for this particular palm tree. Chazin and Itik So we see if that particular palm tree is a gevaldiga palm tree. So Shayur Ishar. So he's just leaving for himself that particular palm tree. I dikla bishu, but if it is a shlechta palm tree, kol shekein anach. Well, then he's saying I'm not even selling you this shlechta palm tree, and certainly not the other ones that are better than it. Amrle levar me ilone. If Shimon says I'm selling you the field, but excluding the ilone, the the trees. So i isle ilone levar me ilone. So if there are trees, so then they are excluded. He isle dikla. What if he has Palm trees, a, spe- a specific type of tree. Well, if all he has on the field are, are palm trees, well, levar me dikle, so he's excluding those. He is like gufne, levar me gufne. If there are grapevines, then he's excluding those. Ilone vigufne, if there are trees and grapevines, well, levar me ilone. He's saying that he's excluding the trees, but selling the grapevines. Ilone vidikle, if there are trees and palm trees, levar me ilone. He's saying that he's excluding the trees, but leaving the palm trees. Gofne vidikle, if there are um, uh, uh, vines and palm trees, levar me gufne, he's excluding the uh, vines, but um, selling the palm trees. Peace out.